turn up sooner, but it's been so busy downstairs. Seems like we got every American from the base down there tonight. Sometimes I wonder where they all come from. All those bright new faces. Dad sent you to cheer me up, didn't he? He worries about you. I don't know. I have an early night and everybody panics. You sure there's nothing wrong? No, nothing. How's it all going up Darren's? A lot and down. She's never there as far as I can see. I think Major Darren gets a bit lonely. Oh, in that chair all day long. He never talks about it. He just sort of pretends it hasn't happened and he won't let anybody help him. But he's been ever so friendly, especially since Pat went. Here, perhaps he's taken a fancy to you. <laughs> don't be silly. He's old enough to be my father. Hey, you sure you don't want nothing to eat? No, nothing. I could do you a little something. No, I'm not hungry, honest. Back to the grindstone. Rosie. Rosie, I think I'm pregnant. Vi! I think I may be. Oh, but Vi... Oh, don't look so worried. It's what I want, Chuck's baby. Yes, Don't you see? Then no matter whatever happens, I'll have his child. Dr. Durham, she's doing some tests. And will you know? In a week or so. But I don't want Dad to know until I'm certain. All right. But how are you going to no manage buts, it? Rosie. I'm happy. But it's a secret. Understand? Oh. <laughs> Grip all our ships with H2X radar. And maybe, just maybe, we'd have a chance. Won't be every airplane that gets it, Jim. Not at first. Here, take a look at this. The idea is to establish a Pathfinder force. Mm, that's the beginning. What's this? It well, came this morning from personnel stateside. We can't wait for any longer replacement crews. Can barely put up two squadrons. I'll be damned. How come we didn't spot it, Jim? Colvero. Colvero. It's one of Red Bird Washers' new gunners. You know the man? Yeah, blonde kid, always grinning. Well, Red won't be too pleased. Well, I can't help that. Is he any good? I've got the right man. Red thinks he's a natural. Damn. And he's got guts. Yeah. I suppose there's no way we could. What? We're not exactly up to our necks in good tail gunners. Now you mean I should um, lose the letter? For a month or so. Hmm. <laughs> Can't be done, Jim. I go by the book. Always have. Colvero must be grounded until he's sent back to the stage. Back. I'll deal with Calvero later. Hey, hey. Well, how does it feel to be a hero? Oh, come on, Elmer. I only got two. Only two? <laughs> only two, he says. Well, look at some guys. They go for a whole two. And they don't know where they got at me. Well, I was just lucky, I guess. <laughs> you might tell you you were lucky. Can I shoot you, Billy? Thanks. Ah, when that uh, second FW came up right behind us. I didn't see him at first. Oh, he's hidden by the cloud. I thought we got him for sure. Oh. Well, then, little old Billy opens up. Bam. Yeah. Bam. The well, spider's falling out of the sky. Yeah, they were pretty close. I couldn't miss him. Oh, I seen guys in that position, so I was scared. Okay, Elmer, oh. so I didn't follow it up this time. Are you kidding? Hey, you hey, hey. debrief me. Step on it. There may be a couple of German fighters won't be around any longer, but that's no reason to throw a party. Billy! You did all right. I get the feeling you're not doing as good as you thought you were. Yeah, I, don't I don't know, whenever the weather's okay here, it's bad over the target. Ain't the first time you had to drop short. Yeah, she was pretty sick about it, eh? Look, kid. Short planes. Can't keep replacements. Not enough crews. You showed them. You can't take that away from me. <laughs> nah. You going in town tonight? How about you? Yeah. You got a date. Yeah, I promised Rosie. Now, all the way, remember? Hey, look, Elmer, I might want to forget about that bet, huh? Oh, are you scared or something? No. Just I kind of like Rosie. I like her a lot. In fact, I think I love her. What? <laughs> love? Yeah. You love her? Yeah. No, you really? You love her? Yeah. Are you sure? I mean, how do you know? Well, I was thinking about her in that fight back there. 
when I got those two fighters. I was just kind of glad because I had something to tell Rosie. So I reckon you can keep your 30 bucks, Elmer. Anything you say, Billy boy. Yeah. Hey, uh, you don't mind, do you? You gotta get washed up. Mr. Liberty Wagon. <laughs> hey, Billy, you gotta get over to headquarters. The major wants to see you. Me? You better move it. The man said right away. Don't look so worried. Maybe you got promotion. Hey, Elmer, if I don't come back, you tell Rosie I'm sorry. Rosie, Rosie. Ah, shut up, Jaime. You still don't understand. The only guy in Rosie's life is the guy you're looking at. Jaime. Ain't nothing he can tell Rosie's gonna help you. You'll be back. Major just wants to tell you you done good. Yeah, I sure hope so. You better get going. Yeah, okay. Hey, see you later. Sure. You'll be okay. Now go on, get going. Thanks, Elmer. He's scared about something. Yeah. I know he's in some kind of trouble. I wonder what he did. It says here that you were 15 years of age and you were 14 when you enlisted. Is that true, Sergeant Colvero? Yes, sir. But I'm going to be 16 in a couple months, sir. You didn't really expect to get away with it, did you? No, sir. I just wanted to fly, I guess. So you lied about your age. Well. First time it's happened. Guess you know you've created a hell of a lot of paperwork for us. Well, I didn't think of it that way, sir. Where are you from, son? Wyoming, Colonel, sir. Parents know what you did? I haven't got any parents, sir. Huh. I'm sorry to hear that. I live with my grandfather. We're pretty poor, so he's glad to see the back of me, I guess. So you ran away and enlisted, huh? Just like that. Well, it's crazy to fly, sir. Well, you're finished with flying for a while, Calvero. You mean you're going to ground me, sir? I'm afraid you'll be grounded immediately. But you're going to let me fly again, aren't you, sir? Well, I sure as hell hope so. We're not exactly long on good tail gunners. Captain Burwash tells me that you uh, shot down two German fighters today. Yes, sir. Yeah, well, I'll make sure that gets mentioned in your report. Okay, Major? Everything gets written down. Look, um, I'll be going home as soon as we can fix it. Home, sir? Afraid so. Or sorry about it as you are, believe me. Oh, but, sir. Okay, get going. Oh, and you're restricted to base until you go. Understand? That's it, move out. Kid. Yeah. How did he go, lad? Did they take you home? Uh, I told him I wasn't 18 till next month, but by the time I've had the medical, I should be old oh, enough. You be in the Suffolk Regiment, I shouldn't wonder. It's a fine thing for a man in the army. It, this war is not the same as the last one. You'll do well if you keep your wits about you. Yeah, Dad, look, we ought to go. All the That's it, lad. Wait till they tell them in the shop. Not just yet, Dad. I haven't even got the uniform yet. Uh, no, no, that's right, lad. We'll keep it a secret, eh? Yeah. Surprise them when the time comes. All right. That's a ticket. You'll need to get your hair cut before your medical. Yes, Dad, come on. I reckon they'll send you to Burma. There's been a battalion of Suffolk's in Burma since 1941. Dad... He went into Ipswich with Peter. Oh. Left me to manage on my own, if you please. Oh. Yeah. Cheerio, have you seen Hello. you? Hello, Rosie. Hello, Mrs. Mundy. Now then, all three books, is it? Yes, and there's the list. Right. You heard about Peter? No. He's going to join the army. You taking the butter? Oh, yeah. Mr. Mundy's pleased, of course. Well, he's not old enough, is he? He'll be 18 next month. Him and Letty. I've no dried egg, love. I'm sorry. Maybe next week. Oh, uh, that's all right. We can manage. I wish I knew if he really wants to be a soldier. He hasn't said much about it. Then he wouldn't. Not to us. Dad'll know. Yes. Uh, haven't you got the second grade, Salmon? Oh, that's all right. 
Quite nice. Only eight points. He was sweet on you for a while, wasn't he? Oh, Peter? Oh, no, I don't think so. Well, I'm too old for him anyway. Oh, I don't know about that. I think he gave up when the competition got too strong. I'm not saying anything against the Yanks, man. They know how to treat a girl. They've got more money to spend than our boys. Cheese? Oh, uh, cheddar, please. It's not only that, Mrs. Mundy. They make you feel... Oh, I don't know. Sort of special. What's his name, Rosie? And I don't know what you mean. Of course you do. He's a gunner. William Colvero. And he's from New York. His family's really rich. They've got two houses and a yacht. I never. Of course, I haven't said I'm marrying or anything. <clears throat> he's asked you, has he? Well, no. But he will if I want him to. Oh, he's really nice, Mrs. Mundy. Don't you go getting yourself into trouble, though. Oh, don't worry. I know how to look after myself. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean it's it. It's all right, Rosie. Let you all right, is she, Mrs. Mundy? She's well, thank you. You're we all then? Well, we did it. He's in the army now. They're calling for his medical in a week or two. By the end of the Dad. year... What? We were going to keep it a secret. Oh, yes. Well, what do you think of him, then? He'll make a good soldier. You wait till you see him in his uniform. Please, Dad. Suffolk Regiment's got a fine record. The 12th foot. They fought in wipers and on the song. Albert, will you take over while I get the tea? All right. Give me a chance to get my coat off. Right, there we are, then. That's, um, 11 and 9 pence 8 me all together. Shall I put it in the book? Yes, please. Thanks, Mrs. Mundy. Good luck, Peter. Oh, thanks. No good you standing there like a ninny. She's going to marry one of them from the base. A rich fella. Two houses and a yacht. Did she tell you that? Just now. She won't. There's all sorts of them after her. She just keeps them all on a string. I bet you she doesn't marry a yank, Mum. Sudden. I, I sometimes think I dreamt. Some dream. You once said to me, take things one day at a time. Mm -hmm. well, I've never lived like that. When I was a child, I was always told to plan ahead, not to waste time. There doesn't seem much point in all that now. There never was. <laughs> Do you believe in fate? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I guess some things were meant to happen. Like you and me. <laughs> Where's Betty? Oh, don't worry. I'm keeping my eye on her. She's over there. Oh. We ought to get back now. Oh, do we have to? Well, I've got the kids' tea to get, and I've still got a lot of washing to do. Oh, well, another day won't matter. If I make an arrangement, then I stick to it. There I go again, planning ahead. And you know something else? What? You're stubborn, too. I'm telling you, Elmer, you owe me two bucks. Oh, you're sick. You better pay up. <laughs> okay? What's the score? They grounded me. I'm getting sent back to the States. What for? What does it matter? Hey, what'd you do? Ah, come on, Billy, we won't tell on you. Hey. It might help to talk about it, hmm? You don't want to, okay? Jeez, I hate training runs. Work like a dog and you get no satisfaction. I'm underage. What? I'm 15 and they found out. 15? You, you told me. That's the big McGilla? We thought you were in real trouble. 
You're just a kid. Yeah, there ain't much I can do about it, is there? Fifteen! <laughs> Look, Elman, you gotta help me. I gotta see Rosie before I go, just to explain, and they won't let me off the base. Uh, how'd it be if I explain for you? No, I gotta see her, Elmer. Okay. Well, let's see. You're stuck here, and you can't get out. You have to see her? Yeah. I guess there's only one thing we can't do. What's that? Bring her in. What do you mean in here? You're nuts. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. We, we have to think about this very carefully. She doesn't know. What, about my angel? Uh -huh. You kidding, Elmer? And you gotta promise you won't tell her. Now, you promise! Not. I promise, I promise. There ain't no damn way you're gonna get Rosie Blair on this base, Elmer. So count me out. Hey, listen. If I... In a minute, Bert. Aren't you going to put your flowers in water? I'll fix the fire. Hey, Billy, let's get the fire. That's it. Oh. Now we push that in there like that. Through that. Through that. Are they going out tomorrow? Nope. Oh, why? None of planes or guys to fly them. Is that bad? It ain't good. There. That's better. Now, what are we going to have for tea? Oh, well, let's see now. Oh, there's letter, Mummy. Oh? Who can that be from, I wonder? Is it from us? I expect so. Uh, why, why don't you go and take your flowers up into your room? Oh, and try and find a clean bib for William, would you, in the cupboard? I'll have my story after tea. Sure you can, honey. Now you do what your mummy says and I'll read your story later. I promise. Ruby. What's it say? She's crazy. I waited an hour, all the way from Ipswich, and no one here to let me in. Thought you was doing laundry for the Yanks. If it's any satisfaction to you, Sally Bilton, you ruined a good man, driving my Stan out of his own home, and that Yank turning the children away from their right father. May you both rot in hell. I never want to see you again. Signed, Ruby Biltner. She even put Mrs. P.S. You'll never be happy with that McGraw, only after one thing like all men. Oh. If it wasn't so pathetic, it'd be funny. Hey, Sal. I know she's a terrible woman. She always was. So much hate. No, just because Ruby's got a screw loose. I mean, it's not your fault. Oh, Matt. I'll never be free. If it will be, she'll always be there. Can I have my story now? Bet. Well, he and I was trying to get it. Yeah, but you can't get out. This is what I'm trying to say. He's been restricted to base. He was? Yes. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me, please. Sorry. Excuse me. Chuck's here. Take away from Mr. Patsy and Mr. Thank you. I got a message for you. Just a minute, Elmer. Talk to me, please, Rosie. We're busy, Elmer. I can't. Hello, Elmer. How are you? Oh, yeah. Fine, fine. Where's your friend, Billy? Would you do me a favor? Mr. Blair, I have to talk with Rosie. Oh, she'll be with you in a minute. Too many loudmouth yanks when you say. I don't think so. Uh, you changed. Uh, I got a message for you. Just a minute. Okay. Sorry, sorry, guys. Excuse me. Please. Thanks. Can I get through? Yeah. Thank you. No, Elmer, what can I do? Billy, he's been restricted to base. Has he? What for? Uh, nothing, really, but he's in a bit of trouble back home. They're going to send him back to the States. Trouble? Well, I don't know, but he can't get out, and he wants to say goodbye to you. So i got to get you in. 
I'll smuggle you into the police so she can say goodbye to each other. Oh, no. What do you mean, no? Well, you're not smuggling me anywhere. If Billy wants to say goodbye, he can come and see me. He, he can get where. out. Well, then you'll have to find another way, won't you? Yes, sir. What can I get you? Uh, bye. Your supper's in the oven. No, thanks, Dad. I don't want anything. Look, you can't do a hard day's work. I'm all right. I'm just not very hungry. I'll make myself a cup of tea. No, I think she's got something on her mind. Oh, she's all right, uh, Dad. Look, when things have quietened down a bit, have a word with her. Uh, see that she's all right. You don't mind, do you? Oh, I don't mind. It's been so cheerful, it keeps me going. <laughs> if Billy's family's so rich now, why don't they do something? Rich? Well, why don't they fix up with the people in charge so he can stay on here? Billy ain't got no family. Some old guy lives in a shack in the Big Horn Mountains. That's about it. Are you sure? Sure, I'm sure. Oh, well, he told me his father had this bank in New York. He said they was really rich. Two houses and a yacht. It's bringing you along, I guess. <laughs> what else, Alma? Uh, nothing. You gotta say goodbye to me. Where are the Big Horn Mountains, anyway? Hell of a long way from New York. Hey, Mac. Got a minute? Sure. They're two damaged ships, so are they? Pretty good, sir. They should be ready for you in a couple of days. Yeah, we got replacements coming, but they won't be here for a week or two. Well, when's the next mission, sir? Uh, looks like Thursday, if the weather holds. Well, uh... They should be ready for you by then. Thanks. Sir. Hey, Mac. You, uh... You used to fly, didn't you? Yes, sir. Miss it? Like hell, sir. Is that all right? Stuck behind his desk all day. Well, uh, why don't we go with him on Thursday, Major? It's just a joke, sir. I mean, it'd be a crazy idea. Wouldn't it? It would, Sergeant. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Oh, Mac, uh, how are we coming with those two, Colonel? <laughs> fine, fine. From division. We can't expect anything till the beginning of next month. Well, that's three weeks away. I know, Jim, I know. How many can we put up? Mm, a couple of squadrons, and that includes the two Macs working on. Uh, not good, is it? No. Roof? Yeah. I'm thinking of going on the next mission. What do you say? You're nuts. Come on. I'm sorry, Jim, but it's too big a risk. Look, I know how you feel. I feel the same way myself. But with things as they are, I'd be crazy to give you permission. Yeah, I guess you would. Look, I'll, uh, I'll see you later. Yeah, okay. Is that you, Vi? I'm just going, sir. Come in. Come, come in a moment. Pretending to work. We've finished the wheat. Good, good. Well, if we can get the um, beet fields ploughed by the end of the month, we'll be well away. That's in hand. Did you ever imagine that you'd end up running a farm when this business started? Oh, I don't run it, sir. You do that. I just do what you tell me. No, a little more than that, I think. Well, I'm glad to have something to do. Of course. No news yet? No, nothing. Had a letter from Pat yesterday. She's still working in that canteen place. Don't like the sound of it very much, but I suppose it is war work over time. Well, I uh, mustn't keep you. You know, you're looking positively blooming. Thank you. It's meant a lot to me, you know, having you about the place. You're always cheerful and smiling. Well, I don't always feel cheerful. Ah, well, that's, that's why it's so extraordinary. Anyone can look happy when things are going well. No, you've been... Um, Somewhat of an inspiration to me, if I bless you. I'm sorry, have I, have I embarrassed you? <laughs> you better run along and have your father bring you up. <laughs> There's, um, must be my wife. Listen, I tell you what, Vi, why don't you stay and have dinner one evening instead of rushing off? Give us a chance to talk about things. Well, thank you. It's very kind of you. Well, I'll speak to Mrs. Derham about it. <laughs> See you tomorrow. Right. Good night, then, Major. Night, bye. Hello, bye. 
darling. Oh, well, Wise late, isn't she? Yes, yes, I suppose she is a bit, yes. I was uh, just suggesting that she stay and have dinner with us one evening. Oh, do you think she'd enjoy that? Well, why, why shouldn't she? I just thought she might feel a little shy. Oh, good Lord. Oh, no, she's almost one of the family now. She's practically running the farm. Vi's lovely. Still, she won't be able to run the farm much longer if she's right about herself. Well, what do you mean? Well, she thinks she's pregnant. Didn't she tell you? No. No, she didn't. Well, that's, uh, that's wonderful for her, isn't it? At least she'll have that poor fellow's child. Yes. That's why she's looked so much happier lately. Let's hope she's not going to be disappointed. You meet me tomorrow night by the bridge, nine o'clock. I'll take you there. Huh? You don't have to stay more than five minutes. I can't. I'm working. Oh, come on, Rosie. I'm not even sure I want to say goodbye to Billy after all those lies he told me. He only wanted to impress you. He was afraid if he knew the truth, you wouldn't want to go out with him. Oh, he thinks I only go out with rich boys. Oh, no, that... no. Oh. Call it stolen away if you want to. Who's to know? The crew. Look, Red. If I don't go with you, I'm going to go with somebody else. But I'm going, and you ain't going to stop me. If the chief heard about it, he'd murder you. Never. He's crazy to get back in the air himself. Yeah, that's why he'd murder you. Look, I'm going to go with Grant. Hey, Rosie. Give the guy a break. All right. But I can't stay long, mind. Just a few minutes. Nine o'clock tomorrow by the bridge. How do I know you'll be there? I'll be you? there. Thanks, Rosie. I'll make it up to you, I promise. How? Oh. I can think of lots of ways. You'd let me. Uh, sorry, honey. I had some business in the pub. Oh? Kids in bed? Of course they are. Do you know what time it is? I'm sorry, I never realized. Do you want any supper? Hey, don't be mad at me, Sam. I'm not... I'm not mad. I got to talking to some guy. What guy? Ah, one of the pilots. Oh, we had a couple of beers, and I guess I didn't notice the time. What were you talking about? Nothing. You're going with them, aren't you? You're going to fly the next mission with them. Would it do any good if I said no? Oh, Max, stay on the ground. That's your job. Look, Sally, you know how it's been eating me up, watching those guys go out day after day and me not going but with your them. your job. I'll be OK. Red's one of the most experienced pilots in the group. I don't want you to go. Well, I might be some use. At least I know how the damn thing works Mike, if you get it to Sally. for my sake. Don't make it difficult for me. I love you. But I'm going. Do you hear? I'm sorry, Vi. You're not pregnant. Well, is there a chance they could be wrong? No, my dear. No chance at all. wanted his child. Yes. Now it might be too late. You must be tired of people telling you this. But the time will come when you'll be able to forget what's happened and start a new life. But I don't want to forget. I know, not now. I love him, Dr. Darren. Lots of girls, they go with the Yanks because of their smart uniforms and because they have lots of money. But it wasn't like that with me and Chuck. We love each other. I really shouldn't be taking up your time. It's all right. My husband tells me you're doing splendidly with the farm. Yes, but we all miss Pat. He says you consult him on the smallest details. Well, he's in charge, isn't he? Yes, but not everybody would think of doing so. It matters to him. He's very much aware of how considerate you are. I'm just doing my job, Dr. Darren. Well, thanks anyway. I am sorry about the baby.
Elmer. Elmer? Rosie. <gasps> oh, hi, me. Elmer couldn't make it. He sent me. Oh, wait till I see him. He said to tell you he was real sorry. Oh, he did, did he? Well, what do we do now? I'm supposed to be meeting Billy somewhere. Yeah, sure. Uh, no problem. I'll take you. Well, where to? Elmer said he fixed for you and Billy to meet at the fence behind the PX. Behind the... I mean, it's dark. I know it's dark. Is it my fault it's dark? Come on. Hi, me. I must be stupid. The first chance in months I get to be alone with her, and what do I do? I take her to meet another guy. Will you come on? Hi, me. Turn right when we should have turned left. Oh, shut up, Jaime. You're useless. Stand still when I put my shoe on. There. Well, here I am. You want to say goodbye? I'm sorry you're in trouble. Well, that's okay. You're looking really great, Rosie. Oh, I'm sure I look a right mess. Amy brought me through the middle of a wood. I'll come back in half an hour, OK? You'll stay right where you are. You're taking me home. I, I can't stay long. Why'd you tell me all those lies, Billy? About being rich and all that. I don't know. Helmer says you live with your granddad on some old mountain somewhere. Yeah, something like that. He didn't tell you anything else, did he? No, no, I don't think so. Why? It's okay. Can I kiss you, Rosie? Just once. I must be stupid. Hey, come on, you guys, make it snappy, huh? they do to you? Do? Nothing. They won't do nothing. It ain't Billy's fault he's only 15. Why me? Oy. 15. What are you got to tell her that for? Okay, so he lied about his age. It happens all the time. Would you shut up? 15? You... You just... You can't be only 15. I'm sorry, Rosie, but ain't nothing I can do about it. Well, I must say, Billy Colvero, you got a nerve, you have. Come on, you guys. I can hear somebody coming. Rosie, I gotta go. Just one more? No. Oh, come on. All right. Goodbye. And I'll write to you. I'm really glad you came. Yeah. Goodbye. Goodbye. Oh. And as for you, Jaime, dragging me through all this mud and you knew all the time. Oh, don't bother. I can manage on my own.
Okay, Skip. For Christ's sake, get aboard before somebody sees you. I've been looking forward to this for a long time, Red. Shut up and get in, will you? You want a bet? What are you staring at, Captain Burwash? Coming with you. Sir? I look so surprised. Tell your co-pilot to stand down. What are you doing here, Mac? Well, sir, I... Uh, I... Came along for the ride, huh? Yes, sir. Seems to me, Red, you've got a full passenger list this trip. Oh, come on, let's get going. I suppose Colonel Carson knows about this, sir. Like hell he does. Jim! Jim! Have you seen Major Carly since briefing? Uh, no, sir. Uh, maybe he's still over at the control tower. I've just come from there. Are you telling me the truth, Lester? Yes, sir. Uh, I did see the Major a while back, sir, in the corridor. And? Uh, he was wearing his flying gear, Colonel. God damn it. He's gone on the mission, hasn't he? Well, hasn't he? I guess so, sir. Who's he with? Captain Burwash. That figures. That figures. I'll ground the both of them. I promise you that by the time I get through with Major Carley, he won't know what hit him. Get rid of that field dressing and cut away the trouser leg. What are you doing? Just lie still, Major. We're just going to give you something to put you out. It's Major Carly, Doctor. Sorry about this. I tried to stop a couple of slugs with my leg. You're going to be all right. All right, sister. You better wheel him in. It was beautiful, Jack. Just beautiful. He sees me standing there all dressed up and ready to go, and he can't touch me because he's doing exactly the same thing. Are you both stowed away? With Red. You see, the chief didn't know I was planning to go, and both of us didn't know he was fixing to come, too. <laughs> Rosie. Can you see to that barrel, Dad? I can't manage it. Yeah, right, Rosie. Stop 
only on this side of the bar, Sergeant Jones. What can I do for you, then? About the other night. I'm sorry. It wasn't my fault. No. I, I couldn't get out. I was late for my last briefing, and I got an Article 104. Oh, yeah. Well, it's like a punishment. I had to stay on base. So you thought you'd send Jaime? I told him where to meet you. Get me a proper wild goose chase, I can tell you. Oh. Up to my neck in mud. Look, sweetheart. Has Billy gone? Yeah. Yeah, he went back yesterday. Oh. Well, I should think so, too. I ought to be in school, a kid of his age. You know? Of course I knew. My goodness, Alma, you don't think I'd waste my time with a schoolboy, do you? Do you, Elmer? The other night. Well, naturally I had to say goodbye to him. He's a nice kid. Well, apart from you and Jaime, the poor boy didn't have anyone else to say goodbye to. Rosie, now Billy's gone. Yeah. You said the other night you might have free evening. Are you asking me to go out with you again, Elmer? Yeah. She ran. Well, I just have to see when I can get an evening off, won't right, I? Guys, Thanks, Rosie. Rosie. Very nice. Very nice. Can I help you, sir? Yes. Oh, no. I'm sure you can. Um, we'd like uh, three beers, please. What are you doing to me? Certainly, sir. You're new here, aren't you? Yes. Uh, I got in yesterday. My name is uh, Walter Leroy. Rosie Blair. Well, then, uh, how about it? The beers. Oh, yes. Come on. Yes. It ain't fair. Hey, Just Rosie. when I was getting some points. Hey, Elmer. Buy me a beer. We aren't broke again. Something's happened. No? Over there. Somebody's up there doing it to me deliberately. I just got rid of one. Doing what to you? Oh, can't you see? Look, those three guys over there. So what? Jeez. Eh, don't bother me, no, and that guy don't look like he can get the first base. Oh? So, the Waitley turns round. Oh, well, yeah, I see mm. what you mean. Well, he's an officer. Is that or is that not unfair competition? What are you going to do with me? You're going to be transferred tomorrow to your own hospital at Bury. Bury? And after that, it's... Just a question of waiting for the wound to heal. Why can't I stay here? Hmm. It's a good job. I think you're a little too important for us. Oh, that's crazy. I'll get Ruth to talk to them. It's good to see you. Why? I don't know. I saw your husband that night. Said he'd give you a divorce. He's a great guy, Helen. I can't leave him. Not ever. No. I want to go on seeing you. You mean that? It's silly for us to go on punishing ourselves. I know it won't be enough. Just seeing each other. Yes. I had to write to you. I knew if I saw you again, I... <laughs> I'm much nicer when I see you. I've been dreadful to Ronnie. Dreadful to... Dreadful. I don't think I've been too pleasant to live with, either. Rufus came to see me. You're kidding. <laughs> He was seeing one of your officers. 
He dropped in to say that you were being difficult. Could I do anything about it? <laughs> what did you say? I said I didn't think I could. Well, maybe you can after all. Right. It's a deal. Now, you promise to go to bed, OK? And don't forget to say your prayers. What would God say if I didn't say my prayers, Mummy? I should think he'd say, what a naughty little girl. I don't. I think he'd say, my goodness, this child must be a crocodile. Oh, Betty, off you go to bed this minute. <laughs> Good night, Princess. Good night, Mummy. Good night, love. This child must be a crocodile. <laughs> I don't know where she gets all those stories from. Uh, I'm washing all afternoon, haven't you? Yeah. I'll make some tea in a minute. Oh, I wish I could take you out someplace. Oh, I'm just glad you're back. What about your major? Well, they got the slugs out of his leg. He'll be okay. Don't you ever do that again, will you? <laughs> I doubt if I get anybody to take me. At least not for a while. You were worried, weren't you? Damn fool. I'll get it. Oh, you're here. I might have known. Ma, what on earth? You've done it, no. You've done it and I hope you're satisfied. What do you mean, Ma? Stan's dead. I had a telegram. You killed my Stan between the two of you. What are you talking about? I had a letter from Italy, from someone in his company, and he said it was as if Stan wanted to die. Ever since he come back the last time, seemed like he didn't care about anything oh. no more. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm... Oh, you're sorry, are you? Yeah. Don't you come back with me, my girl, because you won't this would oh, up. No. So that you could marry your fancy no, man. Don't there. talk to no. Sally like you that. You never loved him, not from the start. No. And as soon as stop something it. better come along, They'll you stop. were all clean They'll and stop it. Her. Oh, you, you're no better than she is. <laughs> with your smart talk and your free fags, Buying your way into the homes of decent women. <laughs> please, away the children. Let them wake. Time they've found out their mother's no better than a common whore. Oh, stop no. it. If you don't stop it, I swear I'll... What'll you do? <laughs> you see, at least he knows what he's done. But I'm going to see that you pay for this, my girl. Because you're responsible for that man's death as sure as I'm standing here. No, I'm no. so sure... What's the matter, Mum? Why is Ram angry? Mm.